Welcome to MRS Bulletin Society News. My name is Gopal Rao. I'm the Chief Editor for Technical Content at the Materials Research Society, MRS, uh, and also the Editor of MRS Bulletin. So today I'm very pleased to be talking with Professor Sabrina Sartori of the University of Oslo. Um, Sabrina is our current president of the Materials Research Society. Uh, she is a full professor of physics at the University of Oslo in Norway, and she also leads the energy systems group there. So Sabrina, welcome. It's always a great pleasure, and thank you for talking with me today. Thank you for having me, Gopal. So uh, this year, 2023, uh, the year of your MRS presidency, marks the 50th anniversary of the founding of MRS. Uh, MRS was officially established in 1973 at Penn State University in the United States. So let me start by asking you, what has been your own involvement with MRS? Thank you, Gopal. Uh, first of all, let me say, uh, let me start by saying thank you to all of our members, volunteer and headquarters staff who have a dedicated time, expertise, engagement and dedication to the tremendous growth uh, and achievements of the society in this uh, last uh, or first 50 years. It is thanks to this joint contribution if the society could stay at the frontier of materials research and could serve the diverse global community. Uh, as of today. Myself uh, have been involved in various capacities with the MRS since 2013, so it's 10 years now. For example, uh, being part of the editorial uh, board of uh, MRS Bulletin, and I've been also serving as a board of direct, as one of the board of direct, in the board of directors of the society in 2015 and 2017, and also uh, I've been one of the five chairs of MRS for meeting in 2020. Uh, but mostly I would like to mention what, motiv what motivates me to volunteer for the society. Uh, what inspires me are MRS core values of excellence, creativity, interdisciplinarity, and inclusiveness. And I really deeply share the society diversity, equity, and inclusion aspirations. It is really what I believe that a scientific exchange between people with various background, a different career stage, this is really fundamental for advancement of cutting edge research and also for changing attitudes, for stimulating new ways of thinking, which I believe were at the core of our uh, founders. Yeah, very nice. And all of that resonates with me as well, uh, mm -hmm. given my long involvement with MRS. Um, taking that a step further, what does 50 years of MRS mean to you? Uh, this year, which is the 50 years anniversary, uh, I believe is an opportunity to reflect uh, how MRS evolved uh, over the last few decades. Uh, but most importantly, what is the role of the society in the future? What uh, is the role that the society could play in the future? So we uh, this year celebrate uh, our uh, founders' vision uh, that uh, by breaking the scientific boundaries of a single disciplines, uh, we could really foster innovative thinking. Um, so thanks to this, to our founders and also the progression of the society, um, and thanks to uh, the efforts of uh, our members, volunteers and staff, MRS has been able to be nimble. Uh, including um, uh, in its symposia, public, symposia, publication and webinar, really exciting new fields and new directions. Um, just for example, look uh, at some of the topics uh, discussed uh, lately, like machine learning to accelerate new materials discovery or bio-inspired materials in photonics and electronics, uh, just to mention a few. Uh, but personally, this year, I think, is an opportunity to look ahead uh, to other avenues for new ways of thinking 
for example, at the intersection between materials and society, considering, for instance, the social and environmental implication of new materials and technology. Um, as an example, uh, this is uh, very near to my personal research interest on sustainable energy solution. I believe that materials will play a critical role in accelerating the move to a cleaner energy society and especially encouraging energy democracy. And here, uh, MRS could really stimulate a conversation about regional differences of resources and also including in the, in the discussion the participation of local communities in sources, in sourcing, developing, recycling different materials required for sustainable technologies. And so because of uh, uh, MRS is a global diverse community, here we have a great opportunity to become the champion for a more equitable energy system transformation. This is just one of the opportunities I can foresee for the future of our society. Of course, there are many other avenues where MRS could continue to develop and implement new ideas in direction for many years ahead. Yeah, as you mentioned, MRS is certainly a diverse and egalitarian society, as we can see when we go to our MRS meetings and just look around at the attendees. Uh, but obviously, there's still a lot more to be done, and I think we're constantly striving to do better in terms of diversity, equity, inclusion of all materials researchers. Uh, can you talk about some of the current DEI activities and initiatives uh, that are being planned by the society for this year and also for the future? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, many of our activities in this respect will continue uh, and expand uh, with other initiatives which uh, have been just started or will be launched uh, soon. Uh, for example, we will continue to expand the investment in MRS student and early career programs and MRS career central programs. Uh, we will also continue to support the activities of the Diversify Materials Special Interest Group, uh, which uh, has been very successful uh, in the last uh, few uh, months. Uh, and then also uh, we will uh, continue to support the Inclusive Graduate Education Network Alliance, which aims to increase the participation of uh, underrepresented uh, racial and ethnic groups in uh, graduate studies, including the field of material science and engineering. And then uh, to mention new activities, uh, we are expanding our collaboration with other uh, national and international societies, for instance, in Asia and Africa through partnerships and joint activities. Here we want to engage researchers who cannot travel for various reasons to MRS spring and fall meeting. Um, we want to engage their, their presence and involvement using a hybrid, for, exa for example, hybrid meetings or expanding our um, live streamed events, uh, uh, the use of webinars or li libraries or talks uh, to encourage the learning and networking throughout the year beyond just uh, our meetings. And also we want to promote, uh, the society want to promote a culture of transparency and trust between volunteers, uh, staff, and members of the boards. And for this, we have started uh, regular inclusive uh, leadership uh, sessions as a space to explore uh, the bias awareness and how to increase uh, the agility, the clarity and uh, engagement uh, uh, in the mutual respect. Yeah, very good. Now, MRS, of course, has a number of very prestigious awards for researchers and all career stages, you know, ranging from the Von Hippel Award, which is our highest honor, to the popular and prestigious Graduate Student Awards. But how can we ensure that we are receiving a diverse set of applicants and nominations for all of our awards? Yeah, so 
The best way we can ensure diversity in our awards is by proactively and inclusively nominating deserving colleagues uh, from across the spectrum of uh, our field. Uh, this is a responsibility of uh, each member, and it is a challenging task. Uh, we are all uh, very busy, but it is very important to do so. Uh, so look at your colleagues, uh, uh, look uh, at people you may know or you, you encounter in conferences and nominate them. If diversity and inclusion are part of your ethos, then Take it upon yourself to find someone unique to nominate and encourage those around you to do the same. Uh, spread the word to, uh, in, at your own institution, um, whether it is academia, industry, or national laboratories, or government and policy. And um, also consider establishing ad hoc or permanent nominating committees. Uh, at your institution uh, that can prepare compelling applications uh, for uh, your deserving colleagues. So we ask for your help in this. Thank you. Yes, that's correct. And um, I think this also uh, pretty much is the answer to my next question, which was what specifically can MRS members and the broader materials community do to promote DEI in MRS awards, uh, applications and nominations, and you've touched upon quite a bit of this, I think. Yeah, so all our members are the best resources for enabling uh, the positive and lasting changes. So perhaps uh, um, the first things uh, that members can do is to realize that uh, we uh, as a society must mirror the world uh, we want to see. If you want to promote uh, the diversity and inclusion in our awards, uh, it is important that you nominate, as I mentioned before, a worthy candidate that can provide uh, uh, the representation that you want to see and that uh, can inspire uh, future generations. Uh, representations uh, mean everything from uh, for uh, both the nominators and the awardees, so that we can highlight uh, members from also underrepresented groups that also have achieved uh, so many great things. Now, you briefly touched upon the MRS board and the officers um, being very aware of DEI and also getting some training, but we have a large number of volunteers uh, within MRS who do a lot of things for MRS. Um, how do you think MRS can advance DEI at all levels of volunteering? Mm. Yeah, um, I think um, we can do a lot by uh, training ourselves um, towards unconscious uh, biases that all of us have. Um, so, coming back to the point uh, that uh, I made also before, providing a space for exploration of how to bring more attention on the equity and inclusion also into the leadership within MRS will be important. Uh, we started already uh, last year um, with uh, um, an inclusive uh, leadership uh, session where unconscious uh, uh, bias training have been provided. Uh, so offering this uh, for all, all of our volunteers uh, would be uh, a step uh, ahead in that direction. Very good. Before we wrap up, uh, one final question. So. Uh, you are president of MRS in 2023, this year, and a president gets one year um, in this position. So what do you think you'd like to see MRS accomplish at the end of 2023 and at the end of your presidency? Yes, uh, uh, I would like to use this uh, year of celebration uh, to um, reflect on uh, how uh, material research can contribute to a more just society. Uh, for this, um, I would like to see 
uh, a stronger collaboration with our, our, um, other societies around the world, and I explain uh, soon why. And also a variety of uh, educational initiatives uh, addressed to our younger generation. And uh, of course, a focus on uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion initiatives, uh, as mentioned before. So why uh, collaboration with other societies uh, um, in particular? Uh, in my opinion, it is very important that uh, not just the industrial countries uh, drive uh, uh, the research and uh, what kind of materials uh, research uh, get investments and attention. For example, uh, uh, many um, initiatives uh, towards uh, literification have been focusing disproportionately on wealthy countries, uh, countries that have already good infrastructure for energy or clean water. Unfortunately, large part of the world's lack access uh, to electricity and clean water for, for example. So research from these countries can bring other priorities and perspective. So collaboration with uh, other countries and diversity, equity and inclusion initiatives are key here. Um, and in addition, there are many countries in the world uh, that uh, contribute raw material to industrialized countries. And, uh, and in this industrialized country, uh, the focus is in green shift. So it is important uh, that uh, um, uh, this is done in a way that contributes to also local communities where raw materials are found uh, so that uh, these communities can develop and be able to benefit from uh, their own resources and uh, supply chain. So again, uh, I believe diversity uh, will promote uh, innovative ideas, uh, which are important to encourage democracy and sustainability. Those are wonderful objectives for your presidency. Um, and it's always a pleasure talking with you. Thank you so much, Sabrina. Thank you very much, Gopal. So to celebrate uh, MRS's 50th anniversary, I invite all of our viewers to join us in San Francisco for our MRS spring meeting and of course later this year uh, in Boston for our fall meeting and also virtually uh, you know in various events that we have uh, planned for this year. Again my name is Gopal Rao uh, from the Materials Research Society. For more news please visit the MRS Bulletin website at mrsbulletin.org. Uh, you can also follow us on Twitter. Our handle is at mrsbulletin. Thanks again to Professor Sartori and thank you all for watching. Mm -hmm.